difficult to find my own house, if only because I'd never been charged with finding the building in pitch blackness during a massive windstorm before. Without large buildings about, there was also less to block the wind and also less to channel it into dangerous horizontal vortexes. Ugh, I am just pouring with water. <laughs> it was rolling off of me almost worse than as if I'd stepped out of a river. A heavy, wet thud behind me gave me the scare of my life. And I twisted about against the door only to breathe a sigh of relief. My dad had also been outside and had just joined me by jumping down from the roof. He was in his dark black rain jacket and hooded almost as severely as Sandro. I grinned, or I almost grinned because when he moved, everything about his body language was violently wrong. He stepped forward like a tiger. Inside. Dad, what's wrong? Why? Why would you do that? What is wrong with you? Why would you do that? Why would you risk that? Why would you expose yourself? D Dad, it it's fine. Nothing is fine. You still think you can get away with this. You conduct it today like a circus. As if I would notice how manipulative you are being when I taught you everything you know. And after all that, you still could resist showing off. I, I just wanted to make him tell the... The truth. Is there an ounce of sense in your fucking head? You are in hiding. Arrogant child. Fucking stupid child. You walk a tightrope, but I teach you everything you need to know. And you spit on it. And cut the rope yourself. I'm not afraid of his fam. You are. Stupid and fearless when you have no right to be. You think you are a hero, a potential hero. You are nothing. You are a reckless, idiotic, asinine child. Do you think this successful daredevilry proves you are immortal? Do you think because you get away with these brainless antics once, twice, even three times, you are anything more than a toddler with a knife? I'm tougher and faster and smarter than- Than who? His parents. Ha. Huh. Yeah, right. Oh, your parents. I should hope so. Because the entrails ended up architectural decorations by the time I was done with them. And now you blatantly expose us to the risk that the same people who found them are going to find. You. And the only fucking thing protecting you is the fact that no one knows you why are alive. The one thing, the only thing that might get you past 18 is that you don't exist. Dad! What is it going to take to drill that into your head? You can't leave a trail. You can't be sloppy and reckless and moronic. What do I have to do? Do I have to scare you? Is that what you want to be? Scared of me? You want me to run knives against your face, tell you stories, play jigsaw with the next burglar that breaks in? Kidnap some bystanders and leave them in the blitz like your stupid rabbit? Is that what it's gonna take? Is that what I have to do to get you to listen? Dad! Well, this is different. <laughs> yeah. And where have you been? I haven't seen you in forever. I thought you might have died. Hmm. What are you doing, Squirt? <laughs> you're my dad, Joker. Hasn't been a day of my whole life I haven't known what your I'm scared, please hug me looks like. <laughs> I... It's... It's okay, Dad. I'm safe. You have me. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for real, okay? I'm sorry, and everything's still okay. 
But will it be? <laughs> How can I know that? I'm not a fortune teller. <laughs> That's the exciting part, right? Not knowing the future? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 